So it's no secret that smartphones have become incredibly addicting in our society here. Gone pretty much are the days of just quickly calling up a friend or family member or sending them a quick text. We now rely on our phones to do almost everything, including email, watching videos, or even unlocking your car or house. And for many people, they have realized that the smartphone has become this kind of addiction-driven device for them, and it's something that they don't necessarily enjoy. There are even a group of consumers out there who don't even want a smartphone altogether. They would prefer to have a more dumbed down phone without all the notifications and news flashes. And that is where something like the light phone comes into play. This is a $299 dumb phone that is designed to be used as little as possible. The light phone doesn't have any sort of social media apps. It doesn't have any news apps, no email, and there's not even an internet browser on it. That being said, it's one of the best dumb phones out there right now, if if not the best. What's going on guys, Michael here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Light Phone 2 specifically. So as I mentioned, this is kind of a dumb phone for people who don't want everything that a smartphone has to offer. So this is actually the second generation of the Light Phone. They did originally have an even lighter phone that's just called the Light Phone. I guess you could call it the Light Phone 1 now that pretty much just did calling. This new Light Phone 2 has a few extra tools and features that we'll talk about as the video progresses here. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and thumbs up the video. We put out new tech videos all the time here. So the first thing I wanna start with is just the overall specs of this phone and kind of what it offers. Now, if you decide to purchase this for $299 in the US, that is the North American model that you'll be purchasing. They do also sell an international model if you're interested in that as well. It pretty much comes in black and light gray, which really just looks like black and white in my opinion. And it does ship with 4G LTE on here. Although you won't be using the internet very much on this phone. Aside just from looking at this phone, you'll be able to tell right away that it's not your traditional phone nowadays, but it also has a different screen than most phones. This has an e-ink display or an electronic paper screen is what they call it. It's basically the same type of screen that you find in many e-readers nowadays. So similar to something like the Amazon Kindle. Unlike traditional backlit screens, there's no blue light on this one. It does have a backlight on it so that if you are in the dark, you can actually see the screen, but it doesn't have any blue light on it, which is a plus if you're trying to get to sleep at night and happen to be using your phone. This e-ink display also makes it much easier to read your screen in direct sunlight. And the phone itself is actually quite small. It's about the size of a debit card, about the size of a credit card there, a little bit thicker, of course, but it's really not too large at all. And that's kind of the whole point. This phone isn't meant to be intrusive whatsoever. It is able to act as a Wi-Fi hotspot, which is actually a really nice feature. So if you, you know, are traveling for work and you have this minimalist phone and you need to connect to your laptop to get some work done, you'll be able to do that with this phone. Or another good example is if you carry on a tablet, so you do have those smartphone features, but just maybe not on your phone, you could be able to connect to your tablet using the light phone over that Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, aside from that actual display on the front of the phone itself, you will also get a front speaker on there as well as a light sensor. So that light sensor will help turn on the backlight if you are in a dark room, of course. Now this phone actually does feature a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So it does have podcasts and music on here. We'll touch on that a little later, but 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, that's something you don't even see on most phones nowadays. So it's actually kind of nice to see that here. You do also get a power button to turn the device on and off and then the SIM card slot to insert your SIM card. Micro USB is on this device. So that's how you actually charge it. I would like to see USB-C. I don't think I could make a video without requesting USB-C on a device that doesn't have it maybe in the next version. There's also a cutout here for the microphone button. There's an up button to control the ringer or go through the menu. There's an actual button to actually go to the toolbox on the menu, which we'll touch on later and then another down button to control the ringer, bring it down a level or actually go down when you're scrolling through the menu. So you might be looking at this phone and kind of wondering who would ever use this. Well, this is actually not my device. This is something one of my friends used for, I believe I wanna say for about a year he used it for. He's back to using a smartphone now for a variety of different reasons, but he's kind of more of a minimalist person. He didn't really want the social media distraction, the the addiction really that these smartphones kind of cause nowadays. And if you don't think that being addicted to your smartphone is actually a thing, I would just encourage you, go into your settings, check your screen time on your device and just see how many hours a day you're spending on there. That might help you realize why a phone like this is available on the market. But he used this thing for about a year before he ended up getting a, a smartphone and he basically had all the reasons that we've talked about earlier. He didn't really want the social media apps. He didn't really want the news flashes. All of these things that come along with a smartphone wasn't attractive to him at the time. So he tried out this light phone. One thing to note is the way that this phone is marketed is, is kind of in two ways. It's one for minimalists who just flat out don't want a smartphone. This is a great option. The other way is that they actually kind of market you to have two phones. So you can have your smartphone and then whenever you want to use a smartphone, you pop your SIM card into your smartphone. But having this phone kind of as a second phone or a replacement phone 
allows you to put that SIM card in when you don't necessarily want to be distracted. So if you're going to go um, out with friends for a night and you just want to be able to have a, a phone that's not going to distract you, you would pop your SIM card into this light phone and then you wouldn't have the distractions you would normally with a smartphone. So I personally haven't used this device. Unfortunately, this is just not something for me. I'm a very techie guy, so I will keep my smartphone. But you do have to understand that there are people out there who just don't want everything that a smartphone has, and that's what this device is aiming for. So then what can it actually do? Let's talk about some of the tools or essentially the applications. Lightphone actually calls it the tools. So let's go through those. So it does run what they call Light OS, which is essentially just a very basic phone operating system. Aside from the actual phone itself, and your contacts that also has a calculator in there so you can do simple calculations if you need to it does have a podcast section so that's where that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack came in so you can load podcasts up onto this if you want which is actually kind of a nice option you can also load music on this so aside from podcasts you can listen to your music it has something new that they're actually calling directions on here and this is essentially just like maps on a smartphone so it is directions on how to get from point a to point b and then the last thing they have on here is an alarm that one's pretty self-explanatory. That'll help you wake up in the morning or set an alarm whenever you really need to. Aside from the settings, that's pretty much all the tools or the applications that the Light Phone features. They are kind of constantly adding new tools or new applications, but they are um, very careful about what they add because, again, this is aimed for kind of a more minimalist approach, not necessarily a smartphone. The nice thing is that if you do decide to get one of these phones, you can just use it with your current carrier. Again, you can just pop in your SIM card and you'd be good to go. They also have their light plans, though, and this is something that they use off the AT&T network where you can pay them each month for services. There's no contract involved and you can cancel at any time, but some of those plans include unlimited calls and text messages, as well as one gigabyte of Internet data. And that's about 30 bucks a month. And that one gigabyte of data, again, that'll be used for your actual Wi-Fi hotspot if you want to turn this into it. For 70 bucks a month, you get that unlimited calls, you get those unlimited texts, but then you also get unlimited data for that hotspot. So it is quite a big jump, $30 to $70 a month, but you get unlimited data versus just one gigabyte of data. With that $70 a month plan, they do throttle it like most carriers. I believe after 22 gigabytes and 50 gigabytes, it slows down to only three megs or something like that. But that's pretty common with any carrier you're gonna get, whether AT&T, Verizon, any of them out there. There's actually no SIM card needed either if you decide to purchase one of their light plans each month. And then again, this is not contractual either, so you can cancel pretty much at any time. When you are purchasing the phone, you also have the option to get a $15 screen protector to help protect the screen or a $25 case to help protect the actual phone itself. And that's pretty much the light phone too. I'm curious, is this something that you guys think that you would end up using in your life? Or could you see yourself potentially using two phones where you have a smartphone when you want a smartphone and then a more minimalist phone when you don't want all of those smartphone features and distractions? Let me know in the comments down below and I'd love to know what your screen time is. So go into your phone, your smartphone settings and tell me about how many hours a day you spend on your smartphone. Other than that, guys, just wanted to showcase this phone. Not really my type of phone, unfortunately. More of a tech guy, very much a tech guy. But this is just a cool phone to take a look at and a really cool concept for people out there that might want this sort of thing. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.